Hey everyone, I uh, just thought I'd upload a quick video because I've just got back from seeing Sam for the first time and uh, it's, I think it's been 19 days since we last saw each other. Um, obviously the day that he got sentenced and, and they took him down straight away, that's the longest we've ever gone without seeing each other. The longest before this was three days without seeing each other. So it's uh, it's been really hard, I've been really missing him. Um, and it was just so good to see him tonight. It was quite emotional, you know, when he walked out into the room and then obviously we had an hour together and it just absolutely flew by. Um, I didn't want to leave, he didn't want to leave. Um, but I, I just, a few things I just want to let everyone know. So first of all, he looks really, really well. Um, he's been working out every day, says he's been doing um, like arms, legs, I don't really understand it, but he's been working out all areas of the body. He does 10 laps of the yard every time he goes out. He's been eating really well as well, um, good food and stuff. So he, he looks really well, he looks really fit. Um, and it, yeah, he's in a good place. Uh, obviously he just misses his family and we, it's, it's a weird situation because we're kind of wishing the time away until he gets out. But we also don't want to wish the time away because we don't want to wish away like Catherine being between two and three and like the new baby's first six months or whatever. So it's kind of weird, you want in time to go fast, but you're also not. Um, he did tell me to say that he received a pile of letters today and on the wing that he's on, half of the post for the wing was for him. <laughs> so he's getting so much mail. So thank you to everyone who's writing him a letter. He said that it keeps you going in there and he regrets not writing as often to other political prisoners before he got sentenced because it's like it not only does it give you something to do but it keeps you going so thank you to everyone who's written to him and he also said that he's not allowed any more books <laughs> apparently he's been sent too many books um i did look online and it said that there wasn't a limit to how many books a prisoner could have but apparently he like his cell is just full of books because people have been sending him stuff so um if you were planning on sending him a book pl please don't because it will get returned to sender um he he like he says it's it's a good prison to be at because um like the guards are nice and he's getting on with everyone there's no trouble or anything uh, i'm not sure if they will move him down to a less serious category but he says you know as he'll only be doing hopefully like maybe eight months at the maximum he says he's quite happy to stay there it's all right it, it, like the worst thing really just is the boredom um and for me and catherine going there for the first time today I'm really glad that I did take Catherine with us. Um, I was quite apprehensive, like obviously you don't want to take a toddler to prison, but did a lot of research and I spoke to a lot of people. And it's, it's this might sound a bit weird, but it's, it's a really nice environment. So you get there and it's like a community centre. It's separate from, from the prison. There's like a children's play gym, soft play, uh, lots of games and stuff. I'd say that half of the people that were there were children. So she was just playing with loads of kids all the time. Um, and it's mainly like wives and girlfriends who are visiting people and chatting to them like what you know what's your other half in for it's like oh he got drunk and he got into a fight with his mate you know stuff like that so it's just kind of I mean would you say that was serious I, I don't know it's just she, someone were telling me that her boyfriend had got into a fight with someone and then the friend had said that he didn't want to press charges but the police had just followed it through anyway and like she's like now my, my boyfriend's in prison so it's just kind of stuff like that so it, i was glad that sam wasn't in there with like anyone who was particularly dangerous or you know people that we'd want to keep him away from but uh yeah so that we, we went into this like community center it was my first time there so they took my photograph and took my fingerprints and stuff and then you walk up to the actual prison building and basically have to go through like airport security. So you put your stuff in a plastic box, it goes through a scanner, they say, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then with me, they're like, look inside my mouth, look inside my ears, look under my feet, that kind of stuff. Catherine didn't have to get searched at all. She didn't even have to take her coat or her shoes off because she's under three. Um, so that was good. But the the kids that were older three, the, the security it was it was women they're, they're really good and they were making it a joke like you know stick your tongue out full of face and all the kids are laughing along and stuff and then when you go into the room where the prisoners are again i imagined you know like on the tv where it's like a little plastic square table and like a little plastic chair and it's just not comfortable at all it's not like that it was like blue comfy chairs and sammy's allowed to like hug me 
Keith's made him all that stuff as much as he wants. I, I was just so happy that he was actually able to cuddle Catherine and interact with her. And then when the new baby comes along, he's like literally allowed to hold her for the full hour if he wants to. So they don't keep him away from the kids at all, which is good. I was worried that he wouldn't be able to hold the new baby until he gets out. Um, but you go in there and there's like a little cafe. You can order like food and drinks and that kind of stuff. Um, and then it's, it's like... Um, Again, that room is set up for kids, so there's like loads of toys everywhere, books, cuddly toys, um, building blocks, that kind of thing. So Catherine had a really nice time. She was just running around with the other kids and eating a packet of quavers and like reading books and drawing and stuff. Um, yeah, any worries that I had about taking her were just gone straight away because it, it's such a nice environment. It, it was like going to a play gym or going to a community centre. So... Yeah, we'll be going back again to see him, maybe in a week or two. Um, and Sam's Sam's fine, so thank you. You want some more milkies? Okay, I'll go get you some. Uh, yeah, Sam's fine. He, he looks well. Um, what we're doing now is just ticking off the days and trying to get to autumn so that he can come home uh, while obviously looking at every avenue that's available to to push back against it at the same time. But yeah, thank you to all the support and uh, Sam thank you for all the support and sam told me to say hi to everyone as well and thank you to everyone who's written to him he's going to be um writing back to to you guys over the next few days so thanks everyone take care